Hello everyone, uh, this is Ron here. Just uh, thought I'd go live for a few minutes here. Uh, it's, it's Friday, you know, uh, Friday afternoon. It's kind of a rainy Friday afternoon here at the shore on the verge of the big uh, Memorial Day weekend. Uh, the shores, you know, a lot of things are starting to open up back here after being shut down, you know, for a long time with the, uh, the coronavirus, the restrictions and whatever. But uh, again, a lot of things are going to open up. I mean, masks are still required and social distance is still required. But, um, you know, uh, you know, different places like ice cream uh, places, and, uh, you know, the food places and the beaches and the boardwalks are getting all starting to open up again. Uh, unfortunately, again, it's kind of a rainy weekend, so uh, that'll put kind of a damper on things. But uh, it's, it's good to see uh, you know, things getting going again. It, it helps small business and so on. I got people, some people in here, giant, giant drone flyers in here already. Dennis Love Lady's in here. Mavic Mini's in here. So we got some people in here. Uh, SJM, the drone flyers in here. So um, anyhow, I'm going to get started here. I don't know if any of you, you know, how many of you have the uh, the, the Mavic uh, Air 2 uh, uh, so far? Um, it, uh, you know, came out, I, I think most of us had about two weeks now, and uh, it, it's a great little drone. I mean, I love the thing. Uh, yesterday, I, I flew my Mavic 2 Pro, and then a couple hours later, I flew the the uh, Mavic Air 2, and you know, darn it, I, I almost prefer the way that darn uh, Mavic Air 2 flies over the, the bigger, uh, you know, uh, 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 Mavic 2 Pro does. I mean, but still, the Mavic 2 Pro, I, I was flying the air at, at, at uh, around dusk, and I can see that it doesn't have the low light capabilities of the, um, you know, the, the Pro, but as far as it flies, I, I may prefer it over the, um, the pro and uh, I don't think there's any sacrifice to wind or speed or you know whatever but um, anyways what I want to show you is um, I got this morning and I'm on I got an iPhone here so I'm on iOS of course and um, we got a uh, update to the uh, DJI fly app today because as you know the the mini run I mean that mini sorry I, I, I say the mini constantly the Mavic Air 2 runs on the fly app and not the Go 4 app. So it got a, a new update today to version 1.13. And it says here that it fixes crashing issues and improves stability. And that's important because uh, my friend, uh, Philly Drone Life, Mike, he had an incident last week where he was flying. And it was, he, this is an Android phone he had where the app crashed on him at mid flight and he lost all connection. He had to like, you know, reboot the app and get it going. He had a couple scary moments. And another friend of mine, Kevin, reached out to me this week and said that he did the last uh, app update, and it caused him um, issues like that too, uh, crashing and unconnected to the drone. So I haven't seen any of those issues myself, but I, I hope this uh, app can uh, cure some of the woes that some of my friends have had uh, w with the last version uh, of the app. So, um you know, I don't know if this, you know, if this is conjunction with any actual firmware update on the drone or not. Uh, I will maybe boot it up later and, uh, you know, take a look at it. But uh, has anybody else out there? We got the uh, Fly Ray Drones. We got uh, John S. in here with us. We got the Age Ranger. Uh, Mike McReynolds is in here with us. So we got some people. I don't know if anybody else has had any problems with their Mavic Air 2 with, with, connection issues or uh, app crashing, but, um, you know, I, again, I hope this is the, uh, you know, is, is the fix for if anybody else has had that happen too. I had another uh, one of my subscribers reach out to me and let me fold this, the, the drone up first. Uh, he, uh, he asked me if I know that he said, actually sent me a little video and he was, he just got the drone and he had him, had him flowing and he was on verge on sending it back because he said that he noticed like the bottom you know, he said this, see how that's what I'm telling you, a video where he said that goes up and down. He thought it was a, a defect, but, uh, you know, I checked mine, like, you know, both sides, and I told him that that's just the way the drone is, and it doesn't affect the uh, flight capabilities at all uh, without being kind of loose when it's all folded up like that. So um, if anybody else has noticed that, I think that's, that's on all of them. Um, you know, I don't think that um, – you know, you, you have a bad drone. If those bottom legs move, I guess it's just flexible to, you know, I don't know, keep the drone from crack. You know, if it crashes, it's flexible or, you know, that's just got to be flexible just to, to pull them out. So, um, yeah, that's another little thing, you know, a uh, message I got from somebody this week. So what I was going to show you today is I know a lot of people 
you know, have bemoaned the fact that the uh, the Mavic Air 2 controller does not have, uh, you know, a lander thing um, like some of the other controllers have. And I did a little mod today, so uh, I'm going to show it to you now. This is a, uh, a tablet holder that I actually got from my uh, original Mavic Pro uh, 1. And it has... It, if this is Mavic Pro down there. I don't know if this is a brand name. This is something I bought off of Banggood or Gearbest. It's not like a Power Pro product or anything with a brand name. But, you know, it fits in here perfectly where the phone goes. I'll get my fingers out of the way. Um, let me take it out for a second. And what I did is I, I put a lanyard on here. You know, I had the little string thing there because I could not get the um, that metal piece to click through. So I had to use the string. But... Um, you know, so I put that in, and then again, I place it in. So it's like you would, you know, the phone in here, and again, it, it seems to fit perfectly. I've actually put the phone on it and uh, used the weight on it, and uh, you see it's kind of locked in there. They have these grips here that stick up on this, which fits my phone perfectly. So, you know, now I can uh, I have a, a lantern here where I don't have to uh, constantly hold the uh, – you know, the controller all the time. If I happen to need a free hand or two to pick the drone up or, you know, do anything like that. So let me even put the, uh, put the phone in here. Yeah. So you can see, you know, it bears the weight, you know, really good. Um, no problems at all. Um, nothing's going to fall out. So, um, I, I'm going to really, you know, kind of excited to get out again. And fly with this, you know, that I have a, uh, you know, a lantern on it now that I don't have to kind of hold it the whole time. So, and plus, too, for older people like, you know, like me with bad eyes, it actually like puts the phone a couple inches closer to your eyes so you can actually like see better. So I don't have to do that squinting or whatever, you know, to see tiny little like, uh, uh, you know, numbers and stuff, especially when it's sunny. Like I can see the screen perfectly if I'm inside, but you get outside, and even with, the iPhone uh, 11 Pro, which has, you know, all those nits, hundred up to 120 nits or whatever, it's still kind of hard to see the small lettering, like in the your height and everything like that, um, you know, when you're outside in bright sunlight looking at this phone. So, again, any, any, a couple inches closer will definitely help in, in, in that respect. So, um, so yeah, so, I you know, I, I don't get, I, I can't put a link in for this because this is just some kind of a, you know, I'm going to call it, you know, a, not a uh, Chinese knockoff, I bought it. It said a gear bass or bag though, but it, it actually is metal. So it, it is solidly made. Um, and again, it seems to fit beautifully here. And um, I, I, I haven't said since, since the Mavic one days because uh, I put a tablet in there. Now I'm putting a phone in here, but this also would fit. I know this fits the iPad mini. That's what I got for actually the iPad mini, but. Um, and I may try the Mini in here. I know people say the Mini 4, um, let me take this off here. The Mini 4 uh, won't work well with this. Uh, I know, again, my buddy, uh, Philly Drone Life, uh, uh, Mikey, he he had the, uh, it crashed on him. But I think the problem is, uh, if you're not a drone reviewer, if you're not a professional drone reviewer, and you're not always screen recording at the same time, you know, I have a feeling it'll work fine uh, if you just use it just to fly the, fly the drone and not try to do the additional screen recording. What I always do with my Mini 4 is I always like reboot it before I use it to fly a, a drone and that kind of clears everything out of the cache and, and that helps too. And I, I've actually, I've successfully flown my uh, Mavi Mini with the uh, iPad Mini 4 and screen recorded and you know and, and ran the app at the same time with, with you know, no uh, no downside at all. Now, I'm not saying, you know, that's capable on the Mavic Air 2. I haven't tried it yet because obviously this is more uh, intense and, you know, processor intensive with the uh, the 4K 60 and uh, HDR and many more intelligent flight modes. But um, I, I will try it out, you know, someday. But uh, anyhow, I'm kind of excited to get the landing on there. So let's see what's going on. Oh, we got the Marco in here, FSU Grado 3. Uh, we got Michael Wright in here. Uh, Ray Kelly showed up here. Ray Kelly from up there in New York. Uh, I hope everybody is doing well uh, today uh, going into this big holiday weekend here. Um, again, us, north, north, you know, the East Coasters up here that's north of Central East Coast, we're kind of 
stuck in some rain here for the next couple of days. So we won't be having, won't be too much uh, riding around in, in the sun, but I hope people in the other parts of the country, hope like uh, Dennis Lovelady down there in the great state of Georgia, I hope he's got all the sunshine that's not here. And, uh, you know, um, I hope that somebody gets, has the good weather. And Mike, Mike McGraw says, uh, yes, 70 miles east from Terre Haute. I've done a lot of work down there. Okay. Uh, Mavic many. How how many have had app problems before the update? That's a good question. Again, many people have reported to me that they have had uh, problems with the previous version of the app, but I, I haven't seen it. And I just flew it last night um, uh, around, uh, you know, around dusk and, uh, you know, it flew like a champ. Uh, FSU grad says the middle of the country is nothing but rain until the middle of next week. Ooh, ugh. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, we, I don't think we have anything but rain on and off here uh, all weekend. So I don't know how the whole country could be raining at the same time, but uh, maybe. Uh, uh, Daniel says he broke down, ordered the uh, Mavic Air 2 from DJI. Uh, I know he's got a new a new WL Toys drone he's been uh, flying lately um, that he's kind of happy with. Uh, Ray Kelly says, Matt McMinnie, you're right about the update. Oh, I see Chris Hope's in here. Hello, Chris. Uh, how are you doing today? I hope, I hope the weather's good out there in East Texas. Johnny Drone Flyer, I, I got the first pick of the world's newest drone. Really? The world's newest drone. Oh, and Flyer Drone says, I haven't flown my Mavic Mini in a few days, so I don't know about the, the Fly app. Uh, yeah, I, I keep forgetting it. it this app applies to uh, both drones. Dennis Lovelace says, we have thunder in the air now and no sun, but you clear up by 2 a.m. Well, that's good. You know, it's good your weather will be making a turn for the better uh, tomorrow. Uh, I think and we have uh, rain coming out for most of the day tomorrow also. Um, let's see here. Uh, uh, Stephen Fox, hello. Hi, Ron. Hi, Stephen. How are you this weekend? Uh, Mavic Mace says it loses all data and the screen freezes if you press the return to home and it says take off, and that's not good at all. Daddy of uh, Daddy of 13. What have winds, rain? Not nice at all. I'm sorry that even Ireland's having bad weather. Yeah, Chris Hope Apple has an update. Yeah, I, I don't know if the I don't have an Android device to check, but I know I saw the Apple update when I when I woke up this morning. Uh, uh, drone shot says uh, we have uh, we have thunder, cool thunder. Sounds like a lot of people have bad weather uh, today. Uh, D Daniel says, get the small pro so you can fly in the rain. Hmm. Yeah, so that's about it today. I just thought I'd, you know, drop in and, you know, share a couple tidbits uh, like that. I, I put a video out wow. yesterday where I... Um, I had flown the uh, Mavic Air 2 last weekend, and I put it in a decent, like, color profile, and I kind of edited it in Final Cut Pro. And I just tried to show, you know, the differences uh, between the decent, like, uh, unedited, you know, color graded versus the HDR um, out of the drone. And, and the HDR, um, you know, I, I found not that great when uh, the camera was aimed at the, at the sun. It sort of created some sort of, unnatural color there so 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 far i'm not that crazy about the hdr but i will keep testing it and um and i'm going over the picture modes too it has you know of course a single single picture has a 48 megapixel uh file it has a smart photo and then it has auto bracketed photos and uh yeah i'm going through them all and they look good you know and the, the 48 megapixel file you kind of got to need the almost the perfect lighting for that. If you try to shoot a 48 megapixel in low light or bad light, it's not going to look that good. Um, you need again, you know, you need to be out in 
broad daylight, really good lighting for that 48 pixel mode to shine. But uh, I do like smart photo mode, which I, you know, I guess is similar to the HDR photo mode on, on a lot of uh, devices. But uh, I think the smart photo mode does a really good job with your pictures, you know. And uh, my, my one um, complaint in the picture thing is um, in the settings, you could turn for it to have take JPEG and DNG uh, photos, but you can't turn off the JPEG. Like you can't just get DNGs. So when I shoot, I get a million photos because I don't want to want the JPEGs, but I can't turn them off. Like the, you know, you have to get the JPEG and the DNG uh, file too, which uh, you know I hope that could be fixed in a future update. Uh, you know, uh, that, that would be kind of nice too. Uh, let's see what's everybody talking about in the chat. Uh, Dennis Lonzo says, had a look at Kaggle Castle, Afro, Georgia. Could visit that tomorrow. Oh, you're gonna visit, you might visit a castle. Wow, that would be uh, interesting. I hope you could hope you can fly there. Uh, fly Retro says, I still enjoy flying my Phantom 4 Advanced, it's a good drone for sure. Um, Daddy of 13 says that's that's the Navic Air 2. Um, Wilson Seals, thank you for uh, dropping in and thanks for your great comment. Uh, let's see, FSU Grad says I've had uh, I've had trouble with the app is tracking my flight. Uh, Stephen Fox asked, what was the app update? 1.1.3 and fixed app crashing and uh, one other thing. And I forget what the forget what the one other thing was already. Uh, I can forget stuff in in a heartbeat. Let's see if we can find it again. Uh, the app that update it fixed crashing issues and improved stability. So the two things people have been complaining about recently were addressed with this uh, app update. So let's hope it was uh, effective in, in doing both those things. Uh, and Mavic Mini says a gimbal adjustment would be nice. Yes, it, it sure would. And uh, it's hard to believe that gimbal adjustment won't be coming, you know, at some point. Uh, like like Lauren always says, I, I guess the, the first batch of updates are all mostly just for, for you know, fixing bugs, crunching bugs. And then when they get all the bugs smashed, then I'll move on to adding little features that should have been in there in, in the first place. So, um, but I mean, that being said, it took them, what, um, like four, four months to put out uh manual shutter adjustment for the Mavic Mini, maybe five months. So uh, things could be could be slow in coming, but let's hope they're, they're not. Um, oh, you're welcome, Stephen Fox. <coughs> Mavic Mini, good comment. They must have known that the update came quick. Uh, I mean, it's a good thing you are listening to all the feedback online. Uh, Flyer returns is I'm hoping that Mavic Mini gets active track. Uh, yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people are. Um, I don't know if that'll ever happen, but uh, we hope we hope they can work that out. John says the Mavic Air had a one-inch sensor. I wouldn't need any of the drone. That's a great comment, John. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I flew the Mavic Air Pro, the Mavic, the Mavic Air Two, and the Mavic Two Pro yesterday, and I, I think I almost prefer the way the Mavic Air Two flies. But it, it certainly is not as good in low light as that Mavic 2 Pro with that one in sensor. So that, that's a great comment, uh, John. Yeah, we need a we need a Mavic a Mavic Air 2 Pro with that one in sensor, and then uh, you know, then time to buy again. Uh, Daddy of 13 says uh, was asking Ron, have you heard anything? about the Mavic uh, Air 2 and the Spark Controller. And no, I haven't, uh, Daddy at 13, not since the rumors uh, of, of that being, you know, uh, compatible with the Mavic Air 2 in a future firmware update. And as I ref I'll refer back to something I said earlier that, um, you know, the, all, the first round of, of app updates, the firmware updates for the, uh, you know, the Mavic Air 2 will all be bug fixes, you know, smashing bugs, uh, stuff that pops up we didn't even know about. So the the more bugs that are out there, the longer it's going to take for features to come, like to be compatible with the uh, smart control. So I do think it's coming. I just think that you'll have to wait until all the bugs are fixed before we'll see that. 
So um, let's see here. Uh, Ray Kelly, thanks for saying hit the like button, guys. Yeah, th thanks for hitting that like button. And uh, I I just got around this week to enabling, uh, you know, what do they call it? The, uh, the super chats and the super stickers. So uh, I, I, I think you should be able to do that super sticker B or whatever, but I don't know. So if anybody wants to, Super sick of me, the 99 cents or whatever lows you can. Just see if I got turned on. That would be appreciated. Um, let's see here. Uh, uh, oh, William, uh, William P. Hi, Ron. William here from Summers Point. I haven't crashed my Hobson 501 uh, X4 uh, getting the feel of droning. I mean, he said, I haven't crashed mine. Well, the good thing you didn't crash it. I've, uh, I definitely have crashed my share of Hopson 501s in, in my day. So I'm glad that, uh, you know, so far so good for you. And let me say most of my 501 crashing was pilot error, not, not the drone's fault. Um, and, and I wrote, William, I wrote a lecture video, uh, last week and we were down there on the beach near Lucy and, and Island House. I think I was down there the same day, a couple hours later than you. So it's kind of funny. We almost, uh, we were almost down there together. Uh, yeah, uh, Mike, thanks. Uh, smash that like button, uh, you know, on the way. Thank you, Mike. Uh, Mavic Mini, Mini. Won't get, won't get track, no avoidance. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I can't say it will or if it will or won't, but uh, uh, if I had to be a betting man, I'd say that the Mavic Mini will never get tracking. Uh, SJM, the drone flyer, I'm sure the update changed camera settings for the intelligent flight modes. Uh, you know, that's an interesting comments. Uh, flyer and drone, that's why I love my fan of one incense and mechanical shutter. Yeah, you can't. You can't beat that. That's for sure. It's a, it's a great drone. A little the big slide, but a great drone. Um, yeah, Daniel said, Lauren said it was coming from the smart controller. And again, I still believe he's right. It's just a matter of just hanging there waiting until we get all the bugs smashed. Uh, Matthew Mini says the smart controller should run on iOS. Yeah, that would be nice, but you know, that'll probably never happen because Apple will probably never license it out. For DJI to use in their controller, so we're we're kind of stuck with Android. I I believe, and you know that that's almost you know it's going to be interesting when when uh, the Mavic uh, when the smart controller does run with the uh, the the Mavic Air too, and to see how much better of an experience that is than using your phone if your phone's like an iPhone or, or you know or an iOS device because. Uh, you have the benefit of the, of the better screen on the smart controller, but um, you know you won't get the app updates as fast, and the app just doesn't run. You know the Android version uh, of the Go 4 app on, on the smart controller does just doesn't run as well as the Go 4 does on on my you know iPhone. So um, we'll be interested to test that out. Uh, okay, cool. Oh, we got Philly Drone Life in here. Mike, I was, my, your ears are burning. I was talking about you earlier. You always say, you know, the big, you know, you don't get mentioned, but you got mentioned a couple times here already. And, and that flight, the flight, uh, uh, Mike did Philly Drone Life the other day when he had that sunset. I, I watched the video today and I don't know, I don't know if that was from Wednesday or Tuesday, but he caught one of those incredible sunsets of all time. He had these orange, these warm colors in there, and uh, it was incredible. If you haven't seen, and I don't know what the video that what the name of that video is called, but if you haven't seen the sunrise flight from a couple of days ago, you got to go watch that. Mike, I would love for you to send me that uh, footage on Dropbox. Up, I'd love to try to edit some of that footage from that amazing sunset. So um, let me get back to the. Comments here. Uh, Daddy of 13, just chilling, getting ready to, to watch ghost hunting. Okay. Uh, uh, real ghosts or ghosts on TV? Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, Mike McGrell, Silly John, that's a good friend of mine. Uh, Mavic Mini says, remember the twist the ND for the fit on the Mavic Air 2. Spent ages trying to pull it off. Yeah, it, it is tough to get off Mavic Mini, especially that first time to get just the, the fake one off. I mean, I really struggle, but it seems to be working better. Now, in fact, I filmed a video on how to take the ND filters on and off, and that'll probably be in the, 
in my feed uh, tomorrow morning. So if anybody needs any instructions on how to remove the ND filters, uh, put them on off from the Mavic Air 2, check my channel out tomorrow. Link down below. I actually, I'm joking, I don't have a link. Uh, I got uh, Above and Beyond Drones in here. Thanks for popping in. Uh, Philly Drone like uh, I woke myself up, Kevin. Um, let's see here. Huh. Dennis Lovelady, uh, uh, don't worry, Philly Drone. It was all lies. Uh, Daddy of 13, uh, hope it stops the chop, that was scary. A uh, Philly drone life, uh, thanks, Ron. Yes, I was lucky. A uh, Philly drone life did the, uh, did the update today. The Mavic may want to put the ND16 on. That's why I have the ND16 on the, um, you know, the Mavic Air 2. It comes with a 16, a 64, and a 256. And 256, I mean, unless you're doing uh, slow shutter stuff, whatever, like you're trying to get the, uh, you're at a waterfall and you want to get that misty look to it, whatever. I'm not sure how practical the 256 is for anything, but just the most idle, I, yeah, isolated of situations. But the 16 and the 64, that, that you know, both of them should serve you well. And I'm sure uh, Polar Pro and, uh, Free will be coming out with a full set of fillers in the, in the near future if they haven't already to get around the ones you don't uh, you don't find there. So um, Dennis, just as kidding, Ron Brown. Oh, Dennis, we know you're a kidder here. Uh, Daddy of 13 says, doing really well just to join the Mavic Air these days. It's a cracking drone. It sure is a, a cracking drone. So, all right. Um, yeah, so I'm going to wrap up here. That's, that's all I got. Just a short little, you know, uh, stream here. Um, uh, just to check in. Said, wish everybody happy, uh. Memorial Day weekend. Just wanted to show, talk about that update and show you my little, you know, if you met, if you weren't here, either my little controller mod with the lanyard or whatever. Uh, maybe I'll make a full video about it when I get it out to the field. But uh, you know, I'm all set to go now, and I did all this with just stuff I had laying around the house. Like so this is from the Mavic Pro One. I had these had lanyard laying around, so I did my controller model on cheap here. A drone pool says I'm going to attempt to fly the Xeno with goggles. Final piece of the puzzle came today. Oh wow, I'm gonna, gonna do left PV and with the Xeno one, huh, uh, Dan? That, that's that's cool to hear. Uh, you got to make a video on that one. Love to see that. In fact, uh, welcome, Dan. I didn't even see you slip in here. Um, uh, Mavic Mini, great little stream. Thank you, Mavic Mini. Uh, maybe not the, not the world's greatest stream here, but, uh, you know, uh, I just wanted to do something here. I usually don't do these, you know, I'm, I'm so busy streaming at night times and beginning of the week. I usually don't do these things, but, um, you know, we thought we'd do something unusual here. Ray Kelly, have a great Memorial Day weekend, Ron, everyone. Thank you, Ray. You do the same. I hope you get some good weather up there. In uh, New York, Long Island area, I know you're probably after coming back from Florida. You're probably got your winter coat on around here. The weather has been too good for uh, the better part of it. May here a lot of cooler than uh, you know cooler than average temperatures. A lot of wind. I mean, we really had some wind the other day. Dennis, lovely happy Memorial Day to you, sir. I um, hope you guys hope you, if you guys go up for your sunrise flights this weekend, uh, I want to wish you luck. We have Dennis and, and Mike in here, two of the uh, Sunday morning, uh, you know, uh, sunrise flyers. So make sure you uh, get up early Sunday morning, get your coffee, and get out there and watch those guys fly. Um, I, I know, you know, uh, Paul Drone Bum, he kind of starts things off on a Sunday. So, uh, you know, don't forget to, you know, get over there and, and follow those guys. You know, they, they all do great. And, uh, 
Philly drone, like, Rod, I was your first super sticker. Yahoo, I'm so happy about that. Thank you, Mike, super sticker. I, I You know, I forgot to even open the, uh, <laughs> the chat window up in, in uh, YouTube, so I'm not even seeing it. Wait a minute, a, a daddy of uh, 13 sent me, a, 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 I guess, a super sticker or... Uh, or, yeah, second. Thank you so much, guys. I don't have a super sticker dance or a little button to push like Ken Heron does, but I appreciate it, guys. Um, uh, Dennis Lovelady, thank you, guys. Uh, that's great. Uh, you know, I, I, I still has happened. And I thought, you know, I've never even enabled these things. And when I do Zeno Nation, we don't have enough subject to even, you know, we're only halfway to a thousand, so we're not even close to getting any, uh, stuff like that but um thank you guys and believe me how you know your uh super stickers will you know go to uh you know good use here uh i'll use them something to help the channel out here uh let's see here thanks uh, uh, philly drone says smash that like button thank you very much mike uh and i want to push uh M mike uh, he not only does he do the sunlight sunrise uh, things on the weekends but he also uh goes live i think almost every morning so keep your alerts on for uh philly drone life you know keep subscribe and keep the bell rung so when he goes live you'll know he's going live and don't forget there's a show every tuesday night at uh, 9 p.m eastern standard time the the uh, the philly mike and ron show um it's a pretty good show it's a couple good guys on that show uh, they give out valuable information you know they give out the the, the the news you need to know whatever so uh don't miss it uh you know uh because there's no you know, no dvr in it or whatever no no you can watch the recorded version but uh anyways uh, let's see here i got uh, uh robert glazer here all the way from arizona the sunshine state out there uh wonder, how, how warm is it in arizona today what part of arizona um many, many of the beers are on run yep yep stop by you know we'll get the grill going we'll, we'll you know get some beers out and have a have a drone party this weekend uh let's see here sally sally johnson thank you so much enjoy the rest of your day ron yeah i thank you so much you you enjoy your day and your weekend we got lord fly quad on here he's another local guy from down here where i live hey ron love your channel love the south jersey vibe yeah he's he's a local down here he he, he puts out some great content also. So get over there and sub Lord Fly Quad up or whatever. Um, you know, go over there and subscribe and like a few videos. Um, let's see here. Uh, Philly, ha ha, Ron, just remember to give me any information back if I learn something. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Get, get that value back. Uh, pay us for it. Uh, Paul Arby cases. What time is it? It's uh, 4.53 uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I many best community full stop. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we got just a great community here. So many good guys out there. I mean, I see so many names in here that I see on a lot of the shows. They're just, you know, great people. A lot of these people, like uh, some of you guys that met up at Spin Up and uh, – Ted Smith says, hi, Ron. Still a lot down here in South Africa regards, Ted. You know, um, sorry to hear that you, you're still a lot down, but, I mean, it, it's a good thing. You know, you can flatten out that curve or whatever, and hopefully things will get back to normal soon. So I hope you and your family stay, stay safe down there. Again, the Jersey Shore, we're starting to open up a little bit this weekend. There's still, like, you know, social distancing. They're still wearing masks when you go in the stores and things like that. But they're relaxing things or – open the beaches up again and boardwalks and uh, which is going to help the small business owners down here who would really suffer if all that stuff is closed down uh, all winter. But I really got to go guys. I got to go run a couple of errands, but I want to thank everybody for coming here and chat, spending some time with me and, and, and giving me my first super stickers ever. You guys, I'll, I'm going to always remember you. I'm going to shout you guys out and do something special or whatever. So, uh, have a great uh, a great holiday weekend, and there won't be a Zeno Nation on Monday night because Marcus and I are taking the holidays off. We may pre-record something to throw it in the feed, but there there won't be a live show Monday nights. So that's kind of breaking news here. So, but uh, I'll be back on the air Tuesday night on um, with the Philly the Philly Mike and Ron show. So, uh, if, if I don't see you until then, everybody have a safe and happy Memorial Day weekend.
We're out of here.